From festive parades to somber ceremonies, many across the area spent much of their Memorial Day honoring service members who gave their lives for the country. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos spent time in Arlington Heights, where one of the oldest Memorial Day traditions in the state was held. Morris Bow. They're known as Arlington's fallen heroes. The 59 young men from the northwest suburb who died fighting for freedom. Spanning battles that go as far back as the Civil War or as recent as the war in Afghanistan. Theodore Heemsmith. Their names read out loud at a ceremony on this gloomy Memorial Day, <laughs> allowing the village to fulfill its promise that is more than a century old. As long as one veteran or one patriot lives in Arlington Heights, their sons will always be honored and they will never be forgotten. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That theme of keeping promises is one that has given U.S. military veteran advocate their hope was that his Kathy Strong a life purpose. It was 1972 and Strong was 12 years old. For Christmas, she received a prisoner of war missing in action bracelet donning the name of Army Specialist James Moreland, who went missing while serving in Vietnam. I slipped the bracelet on my left wrist with a simple pro um, promise that I would wear it until he came home from Vietnam. Of course, I had no idea that it would take over 38 years to fulfill that promise. Moreland's remains were identified and brought home in 2011, bringing his family closure and that bracelet was buried with him. Over the next year, it the put Strong on the path to share his story across the country, determined to put a memorial brick honoring Moreland in every state. She's now halfway done. He paid the ultimate sacrifice, and I just want to make sure that he's honored for that sacrifice. Now, Illinois marks the 38th say for Kathy Strong. The veterans advocate says she now heads to Nebraska to continue on this journey to honor Moreland. Reporting in Arlington Heights, Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News.